And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Triple-A action coming at you on the show. It's the Buffalo Bisons taking on the Durham Bulls. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Ladies and gentlemen, your Durham Bulls. All right, first pitch coming up. And on the mound in this one, Tyler Glass now. Power pitcher. He's going to speed you up with the fastball velocity. And out of his hand will explode the breaking ball. Very difficult for hitters to keep that front side closed and hit the ball the other way because they know if they're not ready to pull the trigger, the fastball will beat them. All right, ready to get underway. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Dexter Fowler. Next offering down in the dirt. Glass now, ready of deals. He swings and fouls one off. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Not the best location with the fastball on strike three, but when you're pumping high 90s, you'll get away with some of those. More margin for error. You know, the fastball has become such a huge strikeout pitch in the sport. I think a lot of it has to do with all the attention and emphasis on improved spin rates. These fastballs are just exploding out of the pitcher's hands and jumping through the zone. Now, Otto Lopez. And a count one and two. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. The pitch stays alive. No score just getting started top of the first. Starting to get some pretty good timing on that breaking ball, but he's going to have to stay ready for a fastball. Don't want to watch one go right by you. Two two, and that one missing low. One down, base is empty, and it's fouled away. And the pitch. That one fouled off. Ninth pitch of the at bat. Do next. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And there's two down. Well, he should get some fist bumps when he gets back into the dugout because even though he strikes out, he saw a lot of pitches and he battled. And this is a long haul where you're trying to get that pitch count up as early as possible. So gave the guys behind him an opportunity to see what's working for this pitcher or not. But I tell you what, it's a nice job right there. And now it's going to be Josh Fuentes. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Well, the hitter's got his timing down for the breaking ball. If you're a pitcher, if you can get that fastball in on the hand, it's going to be very difficult for that hitter. Got him. Strikes out the side to begin the game. What a start. End of a half inning of play. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. Bottom of the first. And pitching in this game, Nate Pearson. What's the scouting report on him? Well, the key for him usually centers around his ability to command all four of his pitches. I mean, he can get by with three if one isn't working, but it becomes a little tougher to keep hitters guessing, especially when you start to get through the second and third time through the order. So we'll see how he incorporates all of his stuff into this one. We go to the bottom of the first, digging in Vidal Brujan. At the belt and fires. Swing and a pop-up in foul ground. Nobody can get there, and it's a foul ball. Here's a 2-2. And now the count filled up 3-2. and two. And a pitch. Ah, that hit him. And the leadoff man is aboard to start the inning. No, definitely a breakdown in his mechanics on that one. He just lost the handle and ended up way off target. Now at the plate, Tristan Gray. Swings and misses. 
It's a ball and two strikes. Ruhan gets his lead at first. Nobody out. And a swing and a miss. And one away. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Guys become defensive, and all of a sudden, for the hitter, that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is, because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. And here is Josh Lowe. Next offering is foul back. And a pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Left-hand batter waits. Got him swinging. He chased the changeup. That's the second out. Here's the third baseman, Jim Haley. The third baseman. Righty delivers. Right side. He dives, but he can't make the catch. And now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. Batting fifth. The right so to a board and two out, scoreless game. Luke Rayleigh now at the plate. That one the other way. Makes the catch inning over. End of one. And we're still scoreless. Welcome back. Second inning set to go. And now the first baseman, number 96. The pitch. Two and one the count now. He hasn't seen a fastball yet, but you've got to be ready to hit one because you doubt the pitcher wants this to go to a 3-1 count. Swing and a miss. And that is strike two. Cold night tonight, Boog. And that's a pretty firm fastball right there. I tell you what, memories of getting jammed, they creeping into my mind right now. And a swing and a miss. And that's the first out. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically, he likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Gabrielle Moreno will hit next. Swing and a miss, chased it out of the zone. Second inning here, no score. Stays alive. And the right hander deals. Nope, that's down. Ripped on the ground a second. Dives and he can't hang on. And he beats it. That's a hit. Great try there. That is good. So now that here's the DH. Good. Cullen Large. Large. The 1-1. One, one. Glass now certainly has electric stuff. Considered by many to be a strikeout pitcher. He might not be at the top level in that category. But strikeout's a big part of his game. And he deals. And now it's even up. And he doesn't beat himself. I mean, he's going to throw strikes. He's not going to issue many free passes. And he's going to keep the ball in the ballpark. Two, two. And there's a ball. So when you look at that, He's not completely preventing guys from hitting home runs, but he's so consistent that you look up. By the time he gives the ball over, it's the sixth or seventh inning, and there's one. Beats the second out there, and it's a double play to end the inning. We go to the bottom of inning number two. We're tied, nothing, nothing.
bottom of the second. And here's the first baseman, number 62. The pitch. Lifted in the air, right center field. Fowler settles under it. And there's one away. Batting seven. The designated hitter. Number four. And next is the designated hitter. Number four. Kicks and fires. And a bunt towards third. And he picks it up in foul territory. The one two and a swing and a miss two away oh well, that high four seam fastball has become such a staple as a strikeout that pitch is. over the years and what's so tough as a hitter is that you see it extremely well the problem is the velocity at spin rate just happens to jump by you you expand your zone you don't stay tall on the backside and you're really not even able to make contact if you do many times it's a pop-up next to hit Ruben Cardenas the next offering misses, and it's two and one. And the pitch. Inside corner for a strike. Two and two now. Just a really nice slider down and in there. He wants to get the hitter thinking fastball, speed him up, and just subtract some velocity and add a little movement. No score here in the second. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. We'll move to the third with no score. Well, here we go, top of the third scoreless game. Now it's gonna be Brock Lundquist. And a one-two. Next offering misses down and away. Foul ball. The two two. The count is full. Three and two. The punch out there. Now one away. Well, that'll make you smile out there on the mound or maybe pump out your chest a little bit farther. That's about as good of a backdoor curveball as you'll ever see. Right on the black, and not surprisingly, just locked him up in the box. And now, Logan Warman. And here it comes. Going to count one and two. One ball, two straight. Top of the third, no score. Swings and misses. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Here's Jordan Groshans. The shortstop. Jordan. 2-2 two -two now. Got him. The big right, he strikes out the side. Home half of the third coming up. No score. And welcome back. Bottom of the inning. And now the catcher comes up to him. Rene Pinto. We haven't seen a break in the weather, and the umpires might be forced to make a decision soon. Yeah, I think so, Boog. I mean, everyone looking and wondering when they're going to stop play. It definitely feels close. Fowler pulls that one down. And there's one away. Now back, second baseman, Sweet Dog. 
And now it's Vidal Brujan. He was plunked in his first trip to the plate. Here's a 1-1. One, one. That's down and in. Here comes a pitch. And that's outside. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Right-hander kicks deals. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Warmoth raging back towards the wall. Two down. Two outs, space is empty. Next to hit, Tristan Gray. The one-two. Got him looking. And good work there as he gets a one-two-three. On to the fourth, still scoreless. Start of the fourth, now it's Dexter Fowler. One one out to short over to first and one gone in the fourth as they get the leadoff man. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air, lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Here's the second baseman, Otto Lopez. pitch and one and two do that fastball right by him slightly elevated that's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound see if he continues to climb the ladder swings through that and it's a strikeout and there are two down really love the pitch sequence right there i'm telling you what pitcher and catcher are on the same page right now Two outs, space is empty. And now Josh Fuentes. The pitch. And a good eye there. Kicks and deals. And that one fouled off. Two-two now. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Righty to the plate. Foul ball. Two outs. That one just misses. Good battle here, about to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. On the ground, Gray picks it up, tosses to first. That's the third out. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. Ready to go, bottom four. And now the center fielder, Josh Lowe. Next pitch misses, two and one. Righty delivers. There's the swing and a miss. Got him. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Well, that at-bat seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three-pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there, at least to foul something off, extend that at-bat. Yeah, the batter now, Jim Haley. And a pitch. 
That misses the zone, and that's ball three. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Puts the squeeze on that one, and there are two outs. Going to have to have a little more discipline in future at-bats. That pitch looked good, but you can't hit it. It was just too high in the zone. You usually see a swing and miss or weak contact in the infield. So up next, Luke Rayleigh. Two and two. And a foul ball left side. Two, two down. And that one upstairs. Wow, that's a tough pitch to lay off. And the righty deals. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. I want to start that load a little bit sooner because of the good velo. Swing and a miss. And he got him. Third out. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and mess, and you walk off the field. Back here at the ballpark, top five, John Shabby with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, number 35. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. And a foul ball. Now all even up. Stays alive. A defensive swing right there. Some cheese on the inside part of the plate. But the hands are still stinging after that one. 2-2 two -two now. That one missed. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Didn't miss by much right there. Just couldn't get the call off the inside corner. Go ahead, run on base. Here's the catcher, Gabriel Moreno. Reached on an infield single his first time. The pitch. Good eye right there. Two balls, one strike. And he deals. Next offering is outside. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. At the belt and fires. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. Next pitch has popped up. Ruhan drifts towards it. He makes the grab. And there's one down. Well, that's a frustrating into the at bat for the hitter right there. I mean, that pitch was right down the middle. I think he got a little too excited, came out of his mechanics, and instead of driving that ball somewhere, he popped it up. Unfortunate for him. Got him. Another strikeout for Glass now. So two down now, and here is Brock Lundquist. Struck out looking in his first at bat. And a pitch. And a ball evens the count. Good slider down and in can be so hard to get on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch. In the air, fairly deep to right field. 
Israeli makes the catch, and that'll do it. Halfway through this one, still no score. Ready to go for the last half of the inning at the play. Number 62. Slow roller to first. And that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. Now batter, number four. So digging in, number four. Well, on the mound, very efficient, able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at-bat. Next one misses, and yeah, that's ball two. Swing and a ball lifted left field. That's down. One hops off the wall. Groshans. Relay to third. Safe. He beats it. So up next, Ruben Cardenas. Next offering is foul back. No score here, but a runner at third with one down. The next pitch misses three and two now. And I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Fought off foul. pitch in the air left field Lundquist makes the play runner tags from third safe he beats the tag and it's one nothing oh, it's a nice job right there it's always great when you can get on the scoreboard first just good situational hitting to bring him home from third right there two outs base is empty and here's the catcher Rene Pinto misses a and a count two and one he didn't want to give up that run but he did got the fly ball sack fly out now it's time to attack these other guys get your team back in the dugout two down nobody on on a line base hit makes the turn and heads for second and he's in there standing up with a two-out double. Drove that ball nicely, put a great swing on it, and it jumped off his bat. Kind of put it all together there, and he's rewarded with the double. And yeah, the batter now, Vidal Brujan. He's 0 for 1. Ground ball, left side. Oh, look at the stop. Gathers and throws, and that's a great play for the out. Well, that's cat-like reflexes over there at the hot corner. Nice job of making that play and ending the inning. Top six. Here's the center fielder, Logan Warman. Next offering finds the zone of the count is full. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Here comes a 3-2. Sliced hard but foul. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. Next offering is foul back. And 
And the right-hander deals. Just a weak fly ball this time. And that'll fall for a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Only two hits allowed so far tonight, Boog. So I don't think that one will disrupt his momentum all that much. You know, he's really been on top of his game, commanding his pitches all night long. No outs, runner at first. Now here is Jordan Groshans. Here's a 1-1. Got him! Now one gone in the top of the sixth. Well, just excellent location on that inside fastball really locked him up and it's a hitter it's not typically what you're looking for you're trying to protect away and then in so you can be a little bit tardy with two strikes hard to tell if he was fooled or if he thought it'd be called a ball but either way that's a really nice pitch and now the right fielder Dexter Fowler and a pitch that one inside the count now two and two now just about to hit that century mark, 100 pitches for this game. Fly ball to right. Rayleigh moving under this one. And puts the squeeze on that one. Out number two. Now the number two hitter, Otto Lopez, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Warmoth, the runner at first with two gone. The 3 1 in for a strike, full count. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Right-hander kicks, deals. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. <laughs> Bottom of the sixth inning. Now it's the shortstop, Tristan Gray. Left-hand hitter waits. There's a strike. It's just been an impressive outing so far. Continues to pound the zone pitch after pitch. And he's been able to stay down. That's what's been key. That one hit to right. Fowler on the move. Calls it in. And there's one away. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Now batting, center fielder, Josh. And now the center fielder, Josh Lowe. Here's a one-two. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Brings it in, and there's two away. Now batting, third baseman, Jim Haley. Jim Haley digs in now, one for two. Kicks and fires. That one to first. He'll do it himself, Enough. inning over. Welcome back. Now the third baseman, Josh Fuentes. Next offering is foul back. Ground ball up the middle, and that one finds its way through. Man aboard on the leadoff single. 
Well, that was an important at bat in this game, so a great job there stepping up to the challenge. Just kept it simple, played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there was just no one there to knock it down. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. So now it's the four-hole hitter, number 96. The 2-1. Nobody out, runner at first. Now front, pulls that one foul, now it's three and two. slowly on the ground goes to second for one relay to first double play the three six one double play in my opinion is one of the toughest plays to make you've got a pitcher covering first and the middle infielder throwing to a moving target everything has to be perfect and right there they made it look pretty easy Gabriel Moreno the next to hit The tying run at the plate. And another ball. Got the bat going too soon. It's strike two. Well, and those hitters count sometimes can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. Looking to get the tying run on base. Good eye right there. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. That one down the line. And foul ball. Eighth pitch of the at-back coming up. That's out to center field. He gets there to make the play. A nice running grab. And that is that. New pitcher on now, Anthony Kay. And he'll do his best to keep this close. Number 47. And welcome back. Bottom of the seventh. Here's a speed threat. Luke Rayleigh. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on. See if you can get a stolen base. Maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. The next That's offering ball. misses. Ball two. Two one. And he flips a breaking ball in there. Or a changeup. Either one. <laughs> Something off speed good arm action on it whatever it was liner caught it second the batter the first baseman Jonathan and now the first baseman number 62 And he hits a ground ball right side, gathers, and throws to first. Two up, two down. Now battle. Number four. Two outs, base is empty. And here is number four. And now the lefty. Foul ball there. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Third out, and that ends the frame. Right. 
Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Peter Fairbanks trying to protect this lead. Back here at the ballpark, stepping in, Cullen Large. Well, both sides equally as strong, so not a good time to try to turn him around with a relief pitcher and put him on the other side of the plate. Here's a 1-1. And now the count, 1-2 and two after the swing and the miss. Activity in the bullpen. Nick Anderson, a right-hander with big strikeout stuff, is getting it fired up. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And one out now. Pretty big strikeout right there to start this eighth inning. Down one. Any leadoff base runner really makes this inning a bit more interesting. But now this offense has to switch from possibly trying to manufacture a run to needing to run into something or just try to string multiple hits together to get a run across the plate. So digging in, Brock Lundquist. That misses the zone, and a count two and one. That one is upstairs. Fouls one away, and now three and two. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Oh, looking for a swing and miss right there or for the ump to help him out and make a call with that last pitch, but neither happened. Close pitch, but a good take to earn that walk. Line drive, base hit. Into third now, so runners at the corners and one out. Just a clutch at bat right there. Big time swing when this team really needed it. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. A chance now to even the score and maybe extend this game. Two on, one out. Here's the shortstop at the play. Jordan Groshans. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, Boog, not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. The 2 1. And yeah, there's a ball. Don't be surprised to ball on the ground to the corners if they come home with the baseball instead of going to first base. Two on, one out. Fouls one away, and now three and two. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. Two gone. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick, because word will get around the league in a hurry. Now, here is Dexter Fowler. That's ripped into the outfield. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is that. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Joe Biagini. And his job is to collect quick outs and keep his team within striking distance. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. Now the left fielder, Ruben Cardenas. This one popped up right side. Number 96. Under it. Puts it away for the out. The catcher, number 41. Rene Pinto. 
Here's the catcher to hit, Rene Pinto. And here it comes. And this is inside. Moving in the bullpen, Andrew Vasquez is loosening up. This would be his first appearance for the club. Ripped, but it curls foul. The pitch. Just miss. Really good take, especially with two strikes. 3-2 on the way. And down on strikes. Now two out. So the bullpen doing a nice job backing up the effort from their starter. Yeah, we've seen some pretty excellent pitching out of this staff so far. I mean, they've come in ready to do their job and get outs. They've been pretty tough to get to in this one. And now it's the switch hitting second baseman, Vidal Brujan. Right-handed reliever. And down on strikes he goes. And that's the third out. Nick Anderson in. And he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. Number 70. Welcome back. Now, Otto Lopez. What are you looking to do in these spots? You're down a run. You're leading off the inning. He's not a power hitter, a guy that's looking to tie it up with one swing. So he's going to take and get into this at bat and try to get deep into the bat. Ultimately, however he can, get to first base. Anderson ready to work. And a pop off right side foul territory. Rayleigh moving to his left. That one the other way. Bruhan. Throw sails over his head at first. That's oh, a dangerous throw for the first baseman to try to handle right there. Exposed him to a potential collision, and we've all seen some of the ugly ones over the years on plays similar to that one. So it's great. Nothing came out of that other than the throwing error. So the throwing error puts a runner at first. Here's the third baseman, Josh Fuentes, for the fourth time tonight. Next offering in the dirt, two and two. If you're a base runner, you gotta stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. Two, two. Got him looking. Now one gone in the ninth. Now big strikeout right there and maybe a little controversial with the call. I think he got a little bit of favor on the mound. No question about it. It's not exactly what you want to see in a big spot like that, and I'm sure there's some chirping going on from the dugout, making it clear that wasn't his best call behind the plate today. So up next, number 96. That one in for a strike, two and two. Kick. 
Sandios. And that one is lifted in the air. Rayleigh on the move to the infield. He's got it. Two away down. Now the catcher up to hit, Gabriel Moreno. Two outs. One run game here at the top of the ninth. One fouled off, two and two. Down to their final strike. On a line. This one is over. Well, this one was all about the pitching and defense. Outstanding job of the pitchers, really attacking hitters, trusting what the catcher was putting down, and trusting the guy standing behind him to make the plays defensively. Sometimes you want to see a high-scoring game, but sometimes you can appreciate the artistic beauty of what these guys did on the mound today. The final one to nothing. They hang on to win it by a run. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon. Here this evening, we remind you to please drive home safely.